block work sizes. At the end of this lesson, learners will know that blocks have different strengths and there are different types of blocks and their uses. Concrete blocks come in various strengths, sizes and colours. It is important to select the correct block for the type of construction to be carried out. This is a 100mm solid concrete block. It can be laid either on its edge to give a 100mm thick wall or on the flat to give a 215mm thick wall. A dividing wall between a terrace of houses is usually a 205mm thick wall. We can see the dimensions here that it's 200 or it's 440 long by 215 440 long by 215 millimeters high and 100 millimeters thick. The 100 millimeter solid concrete block is widely used in construction in Ireland. When calculating for block work or brick work, always include a 10 millimeter joint. Therefore, a block including mortar joints in a 100 millimeter thick wall becomes 450 millimeters long by 225 millimeters high. And then to calculate the number of blocks per meter squared, we find the area of one block. This is done by multiplying 0 0.45 meters by 0 0.225 meters, which will give us 0 0.101 meters. 0 0.101 meters squared. The squared is very important. Then divide 1 by 0 0.101, it equals 9.9. .9. It can now be seen that 1 meter squared of 100 millimeter thick block work consists of 9.9 .9 blocks. This can be rounded up to 10 for calculation purposes. This is a 100mm cavity block. It can only be laid on its edge. The 100mm cavity block is lighter than the solid block. It can only be used above ground level. It has the exact same dimensions as the 100mm solid block in that it's 440mm long, 215mm high and 100mm thick. This is a filler block, or stock brick. Its main uses are for making up levels and block walls, e.g. around window and door openings. The dimensions of it are the same as the standard clay brick, in that it's 215mm long, 65mm high, and 100mm wide, or thick. This is a 215mm hollow block. There are 9.88 blocks per square metre. Again, you would round this off at 10 for calculation purposes. These blocks are only used above ground level, mainly to build houses, sheds and boundary walls. We can see the dimensions here. That's 440mm long, 215mm high and 215mm wide. In practice, hollow blocks are difficult to cut. Therefore, there are purpose-made half hollows commonly known as footballs. And these are 215 millimetres long, 215 millimetres high and 215 millimetres wide. Jointing. If you're going to be using finished block work, that's what block work that's not going to be plastered or rendered. It's called fair-faced work. And because fair-faced blocks are not to be plastered, jointing must be of a good standard. The following Joint finishes can be used on fair face block. We can go for a flush joint, an ordinary or tool joint which would be done with your jointing bar, a shallow tool using a large diameter jointing bar, or weather struck. Then we have weather struck and cut pointing where it projects further from the block as can be seen here and that has to be cut away. Reverse struck joint where it's sloping from the top down. The square recess joint which is just done with a raker and then there's tuck pointing.